I think we, I just mentioned in the previous video, we'll proceed with the other types of energy analysis or other types of analysis. But as you see on my screen now, we are seeing the analysis results. We didn't analysis completed. So when I click on this, what I'll be seeing on my wind analysis is going to be showing me a lot of different information. Like we'll see comfort and direction, but we'll be having like different scales. So Lawson LDDC is one scale for comfort. And there will be other types of scales that we can put in here, such as Davenport and all these type of things. You can read details related to all this analysis as well. And this is also this analysis is run through the uh, run through the uh, like the roofs of the buildings. OK, selectable areas and we don't we can't see the selectable areas. Uh, the statistics that we see it's like ground we can turn off the ground we can turn off the roof sorry we can see this results for the ground and the roof as well so it's basically sitting standing strolling walking and uncomfortable this is the uncomfortable edge here I think it's like a corridor right and when we take it up to the roof yeah roofs are quite difficult to be on right now on these buildings especially the higher buildings we are on the more dangerous it is to be on these kind of roofs but as you see these are the like these are not we are looking for but they are inside of the circle that's why we see them so the weather data is also selected here we can upload it ourselves as well and we can select the direction as well and when we select the direction again we can see it on the roof we can see it on the ground okay we can have the window wind arrow that we are seeing the direction of the wind that is going through the to the west right and streamlines we can put the streamlines and we can turn this on as well so what this does it's basically visualizes the wind uh, vectors we can increase this okay and we can when we increase this we can increase this then decrease its density as well what is the difference between density I think density is also increasing the uh, increase around the buildings or the circles that we're putting in there should be a spot where we select the height of the okay ha this is the importance we can say height variation we can put the like the heights we can select the height of the variation and we can select by height meaning we can select we can just run this or send this vectors based on the heights okay and we can check what is happening we can turn on the roofs, we can turn off the roofs as well. And this is how we run this analysis and how we can see different results, okay, by importance. And we, this is how the wind will act. And if we come back to the comfort, we are receiving results related to comfort. And if we switch to the Davenport, we have different results. Like they are not super, super different, but they are kind of a different setups different colors okay and they all have this same kind of an approach here but let's stick with the Lawson LDDC and you can read all this wind analysis here as well with the de detailed analysis detailed I click on the detailed wind analysis and we are seeing the how we run the analysis how we like what kind of information we can use understanding the wind rows the wind speed is shown as wind rows in graph kind of a thing like interpret different analysis results pedestrian comforts flow patterns react and method blah blah with trees obviously we have the ones with trees without the trees and limitations and validation of design so uh, 
one thing that I wanted to show you here in the analysis, this one with trees, the other one, I think I did it finish for the proposal number two. This is proposal number two. Uh, sorry, for the proposal number one, wind analysis is in still progress. So uh, we are still like we are having the wind analysis here. When we click on inspect, we can say sitting, dominating, direction west, north, east. And when we click on the roof, uncomfortable, south, that is coming from the, the wind is coming from the south and or direction to the sound, so, south, sorry and so and so forth when i click escape i will take this results off and like this analysis also took the trees into consideration we'll wait for the proposal one to receive this wind results but in the meantime uh what we can do is again like i can show i already showed you this i already showed you this like you can select the wind rows and then you can say you can put the streamlines with the importance or by height like height variation etc etc uh, on how we are receiving these like wind vectors on top of our design or the analysis circle that we draw on so that is pretty much it for this video in the next one we'll be running the microclimate analysis for this proposal since we haven't finished the wind analysis for the proposal number one so stay tuned for the next one